everybody again. Uh, what we will do now is uh, look at the day wise schedule and use that as an opportunity also to discuss the role of the workshop coordinator. Walk through of the workshop day 1. So, on day 1 we have 4 sessions, 3 of these sessions will be in the morning. The format of the morning sessions will be more of a presentation style. There will be some question and answers and maybe there will be some uh, interaction, but it will be primarily from our side. In the afternoon, it is the order is reversed. The afternoon session will be a practical hands on session where participants will work in groups and they will report back to you first and you will summarize and report back to us. So, on day 1 we will first start off with an introduction to general technical writing, maybe even talk about uh, difference between journal papers and conference papers here. Session 2 will give you an overview of what are the different sections that should be there in a conference paper. Session 3 will talk about how do you actually plan this paper and once you have planned the study, how do you organize the paper. And as I said session 4 will be a practical session. I have uh, individual slides on each of these sessions in a moment. But this is a broad overview of the different sessions within the 2 days. On day 2 we will follow a very similar format. We start off with a session on plagiarism and how to avoid it including automatic softwares. We will continue this idea of organizing a pl and planning conference paper because that is really the key to the, the heart of the entire workshop. And the last session in the morning on day 2 is about writing style and grammar. And finally, in the afternoon we will visit each RC and have a valedictory session. If you notice the weightage given to the different points here, what you will see is that we have one session on writing style and almost 3 sessions on the logic of the paper, the flow of the paper. We have 2 sessions on day 1, sessions 2 and 3 and session 6. This is because while writing style is very important, that is not sufficient to write a good conference paper. In the discussion earlier this morning, all of you did mention writing style. But there was not much discussion about the organization and the flow of the paper. There was some, but not a lot. On the other hand, for a referee or for your paper to get accepted, it is very important to have a strong problem. You have to sell your problem, you have to uh, sell your solution and then you have to defend the solution. That is why we will spend a lot more time on how to do these 3 aspects and we will spend some time on the writing style. Let us go through these sessions one by one. Overview of technical writing session 1 is as I mentioned earlier, we will just talk about how technical writing is different from other kinds of writing and where one needs it. One of the workshop coordinators earlier mentioned that you require technical writing even in PhD theses, you require it in reports, you also require it in papers. So, we will just look at where are the different places where technical writing skills are required and how each one is similar to each other and what are the minor differences. This is going to be a short overview. Here uh, I just left this blank because there is not anything significant that we expect you to do here. Session 2 contours of a technical conference paper. This will address outline the outline of a conference paper, what are the major aspects of the paper. Session 2 and 3 will be an expanded version of what we did today. So, what your role is, you will be the local expert and the way you can strengthen your expertise is to look at the posted material. I will post a few more materials on Moodle by tomorrow. There will be a follow up assignment to what you did today. And there will be a lot of other small readings that would be good if you can uh, get yourself familiar with those readings. So, you are the local expert here. The topics will be similar to today and what you will do is facilitate the session. If the participants in your RC have a question, perhaps you can answer them first 
and only if it's you think it's of common interest you can pass it on to the IIT Bombay uh, to our team. Similarly, session 3 is how do you actually execute the different aspects, the different uh, sections of the conference paper. So, as I said session we in today's work uh, meeting in the past couple of hours we combined aspects of sessions 2 and 3. One thing that I need to mention here is that since we will have people from different domains, it would not be possible for us to address all the different domains that the participants come from. But what we will do is we will try to address one or two domains from within engineering. For example, uh, it depends on which uh, faculty members we have here. We might do a short session on mechanical engineering and one session on CS and electrically. So, here it would help us if you can tell us what are the primary domain areas from your participants, what is the majority subject domains that your participants come from. I will post this as a question on Moodle on the news forum and you can perhaps answer it and maybe next week or so we will take a look and see if there is any pattern. If we find that there are a large number of participants from a certain subject, we will try to focus one part of the session on that subject. We will try. I cannot promise that we will address each subject, but we will at least look at the main ones. The second kind of papers that we will be talking about are coming from the teaching perspective. Most of you are teachers, most of your participants are teachers. Many of you would have tried to implement some new teaching learning strategies either in your classrooms or in your labs. You might have developed a technology for teaching or maybe it is a new pedagogical strategy. Secondly, there are a number of conferences these days which focus on the teaching and learning of engineering, teaching and learning of technology. So, aspect 2 is not the development of a new technology, it is instead how what are best practices to teach and learn these technologies. There are a con many conferences on this and I would just quickly mention one of them because the submission deadline is coming. There is a conference called technology for education. I believe that the uh, conference call for papers has gone out to all of you and I will also post that on Moodle. Technology for education conference is being held in Hyderabad. It is the fourth of the annual set of conferences and the conference is in July. The focus of the conference is teaching and learning of technology. So, as teachers if you have done some work in that area, you can write it as a research article and what we will do in this session is help your participants understand how to write a paper which is about the teaching and learning of that of technology. Some of your participants would be interested in number 1, some would be in number 2 and some would be in both. So, we will try to spend about half the amount of time for the session on both these do, uh, both these kinds of papers. So, what you will need to do here is before the workshop give us an idea of where your participants are coming from and you will also be facilitators of the session because you have already gone through today's meeting and you will also be going through some of the materials posted on Moodle. Session 4 is a practical session. Whatever has been discussed in sessions 1, 2 and 3 will be done as activities both individual and group activities that uh, uh, that will be done by the participants. So, for example, we might give an activity where we will give a paper to the participants, we will post a sample paper beforehand and we will analyze, we will ask them to analyze the good features of these papers based on the guidelines that they have learned in sessions 2 and 3. We might also give them a small piece of a paper and ask them to revise the written work based on these guidelines and we might have a short peer review in this session. So, this is going to take all afternoon and the reason your role has been put in red here is this is where you will be facilitating the session. One of the important things you have to do here is get samples of written work from participants prior to the workshop. Professor Fatak mentioned this in the morning and you will post them on Moodle. At the end of today, we will post a list of action items for you. This is going to be an important action item. 
get samples, try to filter them and maybe post one or two. It does not have to be necessarily the best ones, but post samples which we can use in the session to revise. You will have to arrange computers for the session. I think you will, you can speak with Dr. Mukta or somebody else from our team about the, this requirement. It is very good if internet access is there for the session. So, please try to arrange internet access. If you absolutely cannot do that, then what you will need to do is download all the materials one or two days before the workshop and download it on the PCs that will be used for the session. And again you will be a facilitator for the session. So, that will be the end of day 1. Day 2 has a format very similar to day 1. Session 1 is plagiarism. We only informally talked about it today because of lack of time and, but some of you did mention it. So, we will talk about what are, what can be considered as plagiarism. Most of the times people do not intend to plagiarize, yet the referees say that sections have been plagiarized. So, how to avoid it even if it is unintentional and what to do instead that is called paraphrasing. So, how to paraphrase, how to present other people's work without copying sentences from other papers. So, we will have a few short exercises here. For this since we did not spend a lot of time and since we did not do a formal session here, what I will do is post slides of the session beforehand for the coordinators. So, I would encourage all of you to go through these slides beforehand. This will be done within a week and we will have uh, somebody from our end also talking about the automatic detection of software. So, this session will be partly presentation and partly short exercises. Session 2 was uh, session 2 on day 2, I think this was called as session 6 earlier, is more details in organizing and presenting a paper and here I would like your suggestions. So, you roughly know what all is going to happen in the workshop so far. So, what other details do you think will be interesting for the participants? What other details do you think will be important that we have not touched upon? For example, do you want a short session on how to make a presentation or how to make a poster or do you think that this will be, it will become too much and we can leave it out of this particular workshop. Are there any other needs from your side? If so, please post it on the Moodle forum and we will try to accommodate it within this session. So, this is where your role as coordinators becomes important. You know what your participants need and you can give us comments on what you think of the schedule and of the program so far and you can also give us suggestions on what we have missed. The final presentation session of day 2 is going to be on writing style, grammar, formatting, language and so on. We may do one or two short exercises here, but it is mostly going to be a list of good practices, tips and basic practices that you have to follow that author has to follow. For example, a new thing came up today which I had forgotten that is about conference templates. It is a very great idea that came from you that once you follow a conference template, your formatting is taken care of. You do not have to worry about blank spaces and numbering and so on. So, all those we will talk about in this session. Finally, we will visit each RC and do a valedictory session. Participants can introduce themselves. This is going to happen in the afternoon of day 2. So, what I will do is uh, post these action items on Moodle. There is a lot of work for me today after this session. So, I think I will be able to do it by Monday morning and Dr. Mukta will send, her team will send you an email on what has been posted on Moodle and what you are supposed to do. But if you see any question on the Moodle forum, you can respond to it. This was the end of my formal presentation.